Okay, welcome back. This is the Anime Unboxing Club. I'm Ethan, and here's the Neon Box. So, cue the intro. Okay, so, we'll get this started. Um... So lately, every single box has had like a note that has, that's apologizing for not being able to send like a, uh, a snack. So uh, I'm pretty sure this one's going to be the same. I know I've gotten really behind. Like I already got the next Nihon box in. So I need to hurry up, edit the videos and post them so that I can be ready for the next set. Uh, it's a hassle. Anyways, so we have some newspaper. Looks like it's in Chinese or Japanese or something. But not important. We have an instruction. Uh, apparently, this box comes with some kind of noodles. See? So. So. Next we have here's the pamphlet or pamphlet for September. Uh, it does not appear that there's anything that I can't show you guys. But that might just change. Um, whatever they send me for the uh, uh, like replacement item for the snack might be what I have to not show. So then there's the uh, Japan uh, thousand yen voucher. If you want to get that, check out Patreon because I will be leaving it on Patreon. Um, it, uh, I posted every single one on Patreon. I have uh, there's only like the only first two or something like that that I didn't actually use, or that I didn't actually post because I use them. But anyways, next we're gonna go with well that says loyalty bonus, loyalty bonus. So let's see. So it's a little tassel kind of thing. Uh, I'm guessing this is for like a keychain. And then I'm not sure who that is. And it's not going to, the autofocus isn't, isn't going to work. So, but. There we go. That's what I got for the loyal loyalty bonus. So next up, we're going to go with this. It says it's from Black Clover. So, so I got a knife. A lighter knife kind of thing. But anyways. So it shows the two or four characters that you can get. This one is that. So it's that one. So there she is. She's cute. Kids are gonna have fun with that. Has like a bean bean bag bottom. But it's 
squishy, plushy. Girls are going to love it. They always love playing with all the plushies and stuff that I get from the boxes. So We'll go with this. From My Hero Academia. Looks like a little mini figure of them like sitting on a wall or something of that nature. The different ones that you can get. Uh, Tenja, uh, Shoto, uh, Suya, Katsuki, Azu uh, Azuku, or Izuku, and Oshako? Oshako? I don't know. Something like that. Um, but this one looks like it's uh, Katsuki. Oh, I haven't seen My Hero Academia. I'm only on uh, I'm about 120 episodes into One Piece. Oh! Oh, speaking of which, I did take a short break from One Piece to watch uh, uh, Konosuba. That show is awesome. Ah. I did take a short break from uh, One Piece to watch Konosuba. That show is awesome. I like it. Anyways. So, you have... So, there we go. And then this is made to sit like on, on the edge of a shelf. And then there's a little, I'm guessing this is kind of like glue, so you can stick it on the other side. And it stick to whatever you're putting them on, but, um, but yeah. It's got like a little white square kind of thing. So next, we have... Uh, well, that's some kind of seasoning. And that feels like it's uh, noodles. So... Yep. So... Apparently we uh, we did actually get the food or the treat, but it's noodles and I guess a pack of sauce or seasoning or something of that nature. So we did actually get that this time. Um, maybe they changed their restrictions or altered them or the Nihon box figured out a way to or figured something else out that they could put in it for for them to be able to send it so cool um, so noodles uh, so that would be what this is for it explains how to cook them and thankfully it's in English is it yeah it's in English so I'll I would actually be able to cook it if I wanted to uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to, though. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. So then there's this. Which, from the weight of it and the fact that it's wrapped up so much, it's probably going to be something that's considered breakable. Yep. looks like it's a little or it feels like it's a little bowl yep oh that'll go nicely with that little uh, saucer type thing that I got it's got the same it's got the same kind of design with the goldfish and plants and stuff so cool so next we have looks like a water bottle
It is a water bottle. So there we go. It, I'm not sure what it's from. Um, but yeah. Cool, a water bottle. So lastly, we have the figure, which is Naruto. Never seen it. Um, I'm going to try and get through one piece before I start watching Naruto or anything else for that matter, um, but it is what it is. Okay, now we open this. Oh, here we are. Cool, that was actually pretty easy. I'm getting better and better at these. <sighs> His head's all spiky. So there's his head, and there's the stand, maybe that's the wrong way, nope, that one's bigger, so it's got to go in the bigger hole. Okay, there we go. So, Naruto. So, now, for the review. So, first we have the uh, Hell's Paradise Bottle. So, that's the first part of Jingo Kuraku. Hell's Paradise anime ended a few weeks ago. We bet you too are also uh, looking forward to the new adventures of Gabi Maru next February. In the meantime, here is an awesome aluminum bottle to carry your cold drink everywhere. It says a few precautions for use. One, wash well before your first use. Two, do not fill with hot, hot drink. And three, not dishwasher or, micro or microwave safe. Well, that's BS. I kind of get the whole not microwavable because it's metal. But uh, why not hot drinks? I mean, whatever. Because it does look to be metal. Even the inside looks metal. But whatever. Oh, crud from the floor. Anyways, because the inside does look to be metal, but I. Whatever. I guess we'll just put cool water or any other kind of cool drink. Probably not like soda or something like that, like juice or water or any number of things.
anyways, so the next thing was the Black Clover Petite Mach, uh, Machi Mascot. Uh, the Black Clover Magic Knights are also featured in the Heroic Odyssey Nihon box. Uh, get one of these adorable mini plushies from the Petite Machi Mascot Collection. As always, this collection showcases characters in a cute round shape full of details. Uh, we love this Black Clover edition, including Asta, Yuno, Yami, and Noel. Uh, which one will you get? Anyways, um, I'm guessing I got Noel. Because I got the girl. The girl one. So. There's the back. And back to the front. She's cute. I mean, as a plushie, it's cute. I like the whole pink eyes. That's, that's adorable. So next was Naruto and Sasuke figure. It says this month Naruto is coming back with new episodes made made especially for the 20th anniversary of the anime. That is 20th anniversary. Holy cow! That that show has been around. We had to jump on the uh, occasion to include a new collectible figure in your box. Two characters are available at random: uh, Azumaki Naruto and Ashiwa. Uh, Suzuki says these two figures are made by a uh, Pirat uh, Pira uh, studio and inspired by illustrations especially created for the anniversary. Stunning. That would be the figure of Naruto. I like the Naruto figure. Um, the other guy looks interesting, but uh, I don't know. I've never really watched Naruto, so. So next is uh, My Hero Academia Remnant. If you're like us, uh, you're you're a fan of Remnant. Uh, mystery blind box unboxings uh, You will be served with this here my hero academia collection This one features six of UA's most popular heroes Azuku Midoriya I'm not gonna read all those names because I'm gonna try probably just butcher every single one of them Get one seating minifigure at random to display on your manga shelf. And so the, the one that I got is this one. So there you go. So next is Saba Choco Kinyo, uh, may, it's made in Japan. The Saba Choco uh, is a porcelain ac accessory designed to enjoy good Saba noodles. Drop a bit of suya sauce, a uh, small, small sachet, uh, sachet uh, included in the box. Mix it with water, then dip the saba inside with chopsticks before eating them. Uh, this one represents kingyo or goldfish, uh, one of the symbols of summer. And that would be this. Nice little bowl. Cute. And I'll go with the saucer that I got that has a similar design to it. Anyways, it'll go with a saucer that I, uh, that I got earlier in one of the previous box that has similar design to it. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> the 
the, so the next thing was uh, Cha Saba. Uh, this month in your box, we wanted you to experience the taste as simple as delicious, but mostly typically j uh, Japanese with these Saba noodles served in a Saba Choco. Uh, these noodles are pretty special because they are cha saba, meaning infused in green tea. Uh, it's a specialty of the city of Yuji. Uh, read our recipe to make sure you fully enjoy these saba. Hmm. Interesting. That would be these noodles. That would be these noodles and this sauce. So, um, basically, you cook the noodles, you put it in the bowl, you put the sauce in it, mix it up, and you have their your noodles. Sounds interesting. And then there was also this, my uh, loyalty bonus. Um, so the Nihon box will send you stuff as you get boxes. Uh, each time they send you a box, uh, they give you points. And once you rack up so many points, you get a loyalty bonus. Um, it's automatic. I don't have to go on the website or anything like that. Uh, but if I do go on the website and I buy like a figure or like snacks or something so uh, from them, then I do get uh, point more points more quickly, and it will uh, it'll rack up faster, and eventually I'll get another loyalty bonus more quickly. But anyways, moving on. And the very, very last thing, Yada Japan Voucher. If you want this for yourself, check out Patreon. I'll be leaving it on Patreon. I can't stress this enough because apparently nobody's actually going on Patreon. But Yada Japan on Patreon. I mean, most I guess most of you guys don't care about Yada Japan, but Yada Japan Voucher on Patreon. So anyways, that was everything in the box, reviewed, and so you know what that time is, time is. it's time for the send off. Send off being, uh, don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, don't forget to ding that bell icon to get notified every single time I come out with another video. I still have the Nihon box. I still have uh, the Otaku box. I still have the Supernatural box. Unfortunately, Culture Fly did away with the Build-A-Bear box and the uh, uh, Office box. So, I'm going to have to find something else for my kids to do because they still want to do a, an unboxing video. The only thing I can think of is that uh, Loot Anime or uh, Loot Crate does a wizard box and both the girls like Harry Potter so I guess that works out. Also don't for, or don't forget to check out the description if you want to get the box for yourself. I'll be leaving a link down there. I do that all on my own accord. I don't have any affiliation with the Nihon box or anything like that. I just do that so that it's easier for you guys to be able to find it yourself. So check that out in the description. Also don't forget to check out the description. I'll be leaving a link down there for Cindy's book if you want to check that out. Uh, it's on Amazon, on audiobook, uh, paperback, and ebook. Um, also on Audible and iTunes, on audiobook, obviously, because 
an audio book company. But anyways, uh, or they both, well, iTunes is music and audio books and podcasts. A bunch of different stuff. But anyways, neither here nor there. Getting off on tangents. Anyways, also check out the description for those of you that want to help out the channel and that want to get the Out of Japan voucher or see the stuff that I can't on the show or even with that, the the stuff that I censored, it's not censored on Patreon. Check out Patreon if you want to help out the channel or see the uncensored content, get the Out of Japan voucher, any of those things. Okay. Also, don't forget to check out the description. I'll be leaving a link to the other channel, uh, AUC Gaming. If you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. Uh, every week uh, on Thursdays, on Thursdays, I uh, live stream on Twitch and I post it to uh, AUC Gaming. So check that out. Also, don't forget to check out the description if you want to check out all my social media accounts Facebook, Instagram, X, Twitch, and TikTok. Yeah, that, that's confusing, especially since Twitter became X. Pff, whatever. It's a dumb name for a social media website but anyways not the point don't forget to check them out oh i'll also be leaving a link in the description for the real pickle rick i just found out that he had gotten back about a year ago and why well, I, I didn't know oh uh, i didn't know but anyways i'll be leaving a link down in the description for his youtube uh, if you want to check him out because his uh, YouTube videos is what actually got me started in this because uh, I watched his and I was like this is awesome I gotta try it too so I did Laters stay safe stay awesome 